obviously to make a whole tunic, uh, the meal of the, the high priest entirely out of Tchelet would take a, a lot more than uh, enough, uh, enough for an individual Jew to put some uh, Tchelet on his uh, talit. I would imagine perhaps hundreds of talis worths of Tchelet go into one meal for Queen Gadol, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Right? The meal that we made is 2.6 kilo wow. worth of wool. Okay. Now, in the times of uh, the Talmud, at least according to some sources, Tchelet was worth 20 times its weight in gold. So Ow. ask your um, yeah. ask your, your, your any of your viewers if they can do some quick calculations. 2.6 kilo at the current rate of gold, uh, how much would that be at 20 times the cost of gold? Well, I, I have it right here. It's saying that uh, gold is at... Uh, gold is uh, U.S. dollars. Is hold on, no, it's not telling me. I don't understand what this means even. <laughs> but I don't tell you by the ounce or tell you by the gram. No, but I actually, I'm actually a, a little bit concerned. I don't think the dollars, uh, the dollars value is sort of on the down, also, right? Yeah, but uh, gold one, is. Hold gold on, is one kilo really of good. gold is is uh, five uh, fifty seven thousand dollars and change. So yeah, that's a lot. So you're talking about a, a garment there that twenty five that. Huh. Well, you so you're, talking about, yeah. you're talking about a meal which would have cost in you know today's terms millions of dollars okay wow. now that really brings us back to the parshiot that we are in truma and tetzave where we're talking about chelet. it's important to understand this the torah tells you truma zahav gold and silver bronze chelet argaman torah shani they're, they're the same kind of pricing here that we're talking about. These are fabulously, or I, I, I can quote one researcher who says, they are stupendously expensive in the ancient times. Yes. Okay, and you're talking today, you know, it takes us uh, maybe, you know, 30 snails, 40 snails to make one set of tzitzit. And we're using modern chemicals and we have scuba divers that can go find this all over the Mediterranean. The amount of work that would have gone into making Tchelet and Argaman and the, the costs that could have been uh, associated with this are staggering. So that's what we're talking about. The Kohen Gadol was wearing this incredibly, incredibly beautiful and, and outstanding, in the, in the literal sense, outstanding uh, 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 fabrics because he was meant to represent HaKadosh Baruch Hu, God on this uh, on this on this world, and when every single Jew puts on a little strand of tefillin, then it's as if today he was wearing a, a a string of diamonds. And imagine what you would what what your impression of yourself and your importance is if you were wearing a string of diamonds all the time that the king had given to you. Right, or that you went out and you bought with incredible uh, mesirat nefesh, with you know, with the, the 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 willingness to sacrifice to put this kind of a mitzvah on yourself, you would not be acting the same you know way as my kids say. You wouldn't be doing shtuyas, right? You wouldn't yeah. be just you know wasting your time. Talk about self-respect and importance and re recognition that we have a, a very very important job. To do on this on 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 this planet, that's what Tchelet would have given us. That's what Tchelet gave to the coin Gadol, the coin Hedjo, the normal coin. The high priest wears, as we said, all Tchelet. The regular priest wears a band of Tchelet, and each and every Jew who is, in a sense, also a priest. Yes. Every single Jew is part of this kingdom of heaven, a holy kingdom, and uh, and a priest. In, in, in a certain sense, and you would expect that he wear that uh, priestly garb, and that's what the tzitzit, I think, really are for us.